Shalom, shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Habakakwadash, double honors to the old apostles, Bray Millstone, who rule and teach will. And if it wasn't for those men and the men that taught them, we wouldn't have this truth today. All right? Who, who Yahweh, Bahashem, Shah used those men, all right, to, to what? Give us this uh, rivers of living water. All right? So, uh, double honors to the old apostles, Bray Millstone. All right, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, bringing out this word and truth and making your bodies a living sacrifice. All right, because um, we all want it. All right, we all want it. You know, um, it's already prophesied that some of us is going to be uh, captured pursuant to Second Ezra 16 and 70 on down. And um, some of us will be martyrs. All right, according to Revelation 20 and 4. All right, you know, so, um, but Yahweh Shah did say there'd be some uh, that shall not taste death, all right? But you should, you should prepare your minds for the ultimate sacrifice, which is being put to death, being a martyr, all right, for Yahweh Shemal Shah, okay? All right, so this, this truth is deadly serious. And the elder apostles, great millstone, and uh, all of the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth, always push that this truth is deadly serious all right and it is you know because we're coming into a time where it's not going to be it's not going to be cool no more it's not going to be fun no more to be a hebrew israelite you know now it's going to be punishable by death you know so yeah that's why uh this truth is serious and we, we want to take it serious all right we want to take it serious okay all right, you know, because the Lord is going to um, lift up that standard. All right, and now um, before I get into this video, all right, because this lesson going into the mark of the beast, all right, which is about to be implemented in uh, mainstream real soon. All right, uh, which is the RFID chip, that microchip, the implant, and that Neuralink. All right, according to Revelation 13 and 16 on down. Um, before I get that, I want to get Isaiah 59. So this is Isaiah 59 and um, uh, 19. Isaiah, this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. All right. So we're going to need divine intervention. We're going to need the Lord to uh, help us to fight our, our battles, all right? Because you can't deliver yourself, all right? Esau is stronger than us. These other nations, they're stronger than us right now, all right? You know, plus the, um, the Lord ordered us uh, not to be carnal-minded and not to result to, uh, you know, to carnality to try to, uh, um, you know, liberate yourself. The Lord is going to liberate his people, begin, uh, beginning with the elect, all right? It's all about the elect in these last days. Yahweh Bashem uh is going to liberate us, all right? <clears throat> the Lord is going to liberate us, okay? So we, we don't, we're not supposed to have that carnal mindset of, you know, like you're going to, by your own hands and by your own will, you're going to, you know, escape danger, or, you know, whatever like that. All right. Nah, what's going to uh, ultimately save us is having that mark of exemption. All right. And the Lord protecting us and guiding us, guiding our steps. All right. Because the scriptures, let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay. That's pretty much all I wanted. Yeah. So let's go to Psalms. I think that's 119. And um, let me find it. Uh, bear with me, bear with me. Where well, it says that the um, the law is a, a lamp unto to our feet. All right. I might have to type it in. 
Yeah, I'm going to just type it in. Type in lamp. Should pop up. Oh, 105. I had a long way to go. <laughs> All right. This Psalms, Psalms 119, verse 105. None, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. All right. So, uh, you know, us having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in our minds, all right, uh, um, Yahweh Shah is going to protect us and guide us, all right, in these times, all right? And whatever, our, whatever we have to go through, all right, it was ordained, ordained from Yahweh Shemal Shah that we got to uh, uh, go do it, okay? Go, go through it, go through it. That's what I meant to say, all right? So let me read that again. Psalms 119 and 105. None, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That's right. Now let's get the, the classic Isaiah 33 and 6. And they saying the same thing. All right. Just in a different way. All right. Isaiah 33 and 6. All right. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. So that, yes, all right? That's why we can see. We can see we're unplugged from the matrix, all right? Uh, Esau can't, he can't fool us. We know what the mark of the beast is, all right? We're stable, all right? <clears throat> we're not lost. We're not in darkness, all right? Uh, what scripture that is that I want? Um, bear with me. It's two I wanted, but uh, I'm going to get 1 Corinthians 2 and 11. Wait, I mean 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, so I can. <sighs> All right, the 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right. We see straight through you, Esau. All right, we see straight through the devil that the Bible speaks of. We understand how he's coming. We know not to trust him, not to take the mark of the beast. All right. We understand the times we're living in. All right. We're not going to be taken away with that great flood, with those lies. I say great flood, but with that flood, it's lucky, which represents lies, lies, sorcery. All right. Propaganda. OK, this Revelation 12 and. Um. um Let's see, let's see, let's see. It should be in here. Here you go. This is Revelation, Revelation 12 and 15. Revelation 12 and 15. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away on that flood of the flood. All right? So, yes, Esau is trying everything he can. He passing laws and legislation. All right? You know, so he can what? So he can get us. He want to stop. He want to stop this truth from coming out. All right. And uh, it's already prophesied Esau is going to put some of us to death. But that's not the all in all. We will get the last laugh, and we will uh, get the the win. All right, the victory. <laughs> all right. You know, but right now Esau is doing every false flag attacks. All right, all of the above. Okay. You know, so they're, they're trying to what? Overthrow us. All right. <sighs> you know, trying to overthrow us. OK. But it says uh, and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. All right. And how how is the earth helping a woman? All right. According to what history you got, you got you got um, information. All right. Books history paintings um you name it you got outs you got outside sources and information that backs up the bible and ties into the bible and proves that the so-called blacks hispanics and native americans are the 12 tribes of israel all right and it also proves that esau is uh, the so-called white man you have books and history and articles all right that that, that backs up the bible proving uh, that the so-called white man is Esau, uh, the Adumians, all right? 
uh, I think to say um, Edom in Hebrew is uh, Adawam, pretty sure, which means red, all right? Okay? So East, are you exposed? All your lies and deception, um, it didn't work, you know? That uh, covering cast, I think that's Isaiah 25. It's Isaiah chapter 25 and... Um, Here you go, in seven. <clears throat> this is Isaiah, Isaiah 25 and seven. It says, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. All right? <coughs> all right, and that's, that's uh, we doing that through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. All lies and deception is being cast down. All right, this truth is... Uh, um, overthrowing this knowledge all right this truth is overthrowing all this all the lies all right by uh uh babylon the great america by esau uh edom who rules uh babylon the great america all right and how do we know that according to um psalms 137 all right um i'm gonna start at all right. Mm, I'm going to start at 7. I was going to read the whole thing. I'll just start at 7. There's Psalms, Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that take of and dash of thy little ones against the stones. All right. So yes, Edom rules the daughter of Babylon, all right? The virgin daughter of Babylon, which is America, all right? And the reason, the reason is, is referred to as a virgin, all right, is because it never um, um, tasted defeat. This place never tasted defeat, all right? <clears throat> it never had major war from an outside country on its own soil. It never been inf infiltrated, all right? Uh, what's the word? Infiltrated. Um, uh, it started with a P, all right? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I ain't, I ain't gonna worry about it. I hit the point, all right? So let's see how much time we got. All right, with that, we're gonna play this clip. Lord willing, it's edifying. And it's just going into the mark of the beast, all right? And it just shows you how um, these churches... All these different religions, they're going to be pushing the mark of the beast, all right? The Vatican officially passed a new law mandating that all citizens of the world government must attend Mass. Pope Matthew says that universal attendance to church will show the Lord that there is still good left in mankind. As a compliance incentive, the Vatican intends to use the chip implants released two years ago as the now only acceptable form of currency. Churches from all denominations worldwide are being fitted with sensors that will automatically add funds to a person's implant upon entering a sanctioned church on Sundays. Failure to comply with the new laws is punishable by imprisonment or even death. You heard that? You heard that? All right. So call her law, you have by Shemel Shah. We're almost out of here, man. Jacob's trouble about to pop off. Fuck all this shit. All right. This shit is about to get real. All right. Let's get Revelation 12 and 12. All right. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Rejoice. All right. <clears throat> you know, and uh, only the ones that's going to be rejoicing is the ones in this truth. We understand what's going on. We know our redemption draw nigh. Salvation is near than what we believe, you know. So we're not lost and in darkness and plugged into the matrix how two-thirds of our people are. You know, two-thirds of our people, they're concerned, they're stressing, they're worried. Oh, man, they're closing down businesses. They're doing pay cuts, you know. They doing layoffs, all right? So two-thirds is really going through it. Because guess what? They trust in this system. This all they have. This all they know and believe. You can't tell them nothing about they white Jesus. You can't tell them nothing about Christianity. 
you can't tell them nothing about getting like like when it come to money if you're not rich jake is not about to listen to you all right jake he, he he's drunken off that that sorcery and that wine okay so it say, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, have a great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right? So yeah, that's why they're going to force all these churches and religions to what? Push the mark of the beast. All right? So Lord willing, that was edifying. All right? Oh, Salakia, Salakia. Let me get the mark, the mark of the beast precept. All right, this is Revelation 13. All right, uh, I'm going to start at 15. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. All right, that image is their new world order. All right, they want everything to be a, what? A world, uh, 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 a digital, uh, everything to go digital. All right. With the uh, CBDC's uh, implant, all right, which is just another word um, <clears throat> for the mark of the beast, all right. So it says, um, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, all right. So if you're not submitting. Under, under their uh, their B system in this new world order, if you're not getting down with the get down, all right. If you're not submitting yourself under the uh, you know their their program, all right. Guess what? You're gonna be killed, all right. Until it be accepted or to be within, all right. This B system, and on the grid, you have to take the RFID chip, that microchip, that implant, which is the mark of the beast, all right. So it says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right? That's a literal mark. All right? It's not something you can't see. It's, it's something that's going to be inserted inside of your hand or, or your forehead with the implant, uh, uh, the, um, the neural link. Okay? All right? So this shit is about to get serious. And then where a mark goes into Karagma, all right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, all right? Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it, it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6, all right? So if you take it, you will be destroyed. You will not have any chance of salvation, or, or you will not be able to repent. All right, you will not able be able to repent after taking the mark of the beast. All right, you can't take it just to escape death, and then um, you know you might have a, your best friend might be a scientist or a doctor, and he able to take it out. Nah, fuck no, you can't finesse your way into uh, the kingdom of heaven. All right, <clears throat> the Lord is watching. All right, you're not about to finesse Yahweh Bashmal Shah. You're not about to take the mark of the beast, all right, just so you won't be put to death because you're scared to die. And then you got somebody that's smart, smart enough to take it back out, all right? It's not about to work, all right? So, with that, I want to end it and give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the old apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, risking their lives, pushing out this word in truth, making their um, bodies a living sacrifice, all right? <clears throat> and uh, we're all wanted, okay? We know we know what this count the cost, all right? We know death comes with this truth, all right? And um, to the families of the men of the Lord, wish your shalom, all right? <clears throat>